Hi everyone, welcome to ironstories.com. I'm Russ Hunter, one of the co-founders of this project with John Howie. And uh, this is my first video podcast, so pretty excited about this. And uh, just wanted to take a little time to tell you about why this project came together, what we're hoping to accomplish from it, and uh, what the road ahead's gonna look like for, for, this, um, for this website. So just to kick things off, why Iron Stories? I, I think um, you know, the, one of the driving forces behind every athlete is their story, why they do what they do. And uh, everybody's got a story. No two athletes that get to Ironman uh, have the same stories. For some, they're there because they just love the thrill of trying to push themselves through the limit. Others, it's about competition. They love being able to compete with other people. Others, it's to honor a loved one. So there's, there's no two stories that we've found have, that have been completely alike. So what are those stories? Why do people do this sport? What are the, the mental dimensions about it that make it so fascinating? Um, that's why we started this. Everybody's got a story. We want to kind of capture some of those stories as well as share our own in this, uh, this blog throughout the year. So what are you going to see here? Well, uh, we're going to try to interview some other athletes that are uh, training for Ironman, uh, especially those that are doing this as um, you know, everyday athletes, as age groupers that are maybe middle of the pack, that are putting everything into uh, getting to the line and making some pretty big sacrifices in other aspects of their lives to make that happen. So how do they make it work? And what's the story they tell themselves that keeps them motivated throughout the year to do that? And I guess we're hoping, John and I anyway, that um, we'll have some of that motivation rub off on ourselves as well in the process. Uh, so we want to share some of those stories. Uh, we're also going to share a few tips, tools, techniques, and uh, things that we've learned over the course of the last few years about uh, preparing for triathlon with one big disclaimer that neither John and I are uh, professional coaches in the triathlon world. I am the national director for the Human Performance Institute here in Canada, but uh, by no means am an expert in sports nutrition or exercise physiology and all the you know, the great things that go into it. What I am going to bring, though, are some real-life examples from my own training that I found helpful. So you can take them with a grain of salt, figure out what might work for you, what doesn't work, and share some of your own comments and, and opinions on some of the things that we post over the next uh, few months. We're also going to try and share some of the lighter side of triathlon, uh, the, the things that don't necessarily get talked about a lot in the sport and um, try to make it light and fun. I think both John and I are hoping this will be really authentic. We'll just share whatever's on our mind and, and you know and see where this this journey goes over the next few months. So look forward to being with you on this journey and uh, can't wait to uh, to start posting some other blogs as we get into the uh, the season itself. 